Good morning, this is Jeff with Super Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 13441 Southeast Claiborne Street here in Portland. We're located the, uh, in the basement at the base of the stairs here. We have a 3 inch ABS clean out as our point of access, trying to get figured out why the house is backing up. Uh, I think I've pretty much figured it out at this point. There is a closet here just behind us. That open doorway I'm pointing at there is where the there's a pump in the ground. And it does appear to be an ejector system or sewage ejector system. It ties right into the sewer line. Um, and as far as I can tell, the, the main line of the house here exits around four feet up, uh, about chest level going out of the foundation wall. So the ejector system makes total sense for this circumstance. The thing that's important though is the, the smell down here when you get over to that closet is just gnarly. Um, and that, that appears to be the source of the smell. When you kind of walk around towards the back of the basement, you'll lose the smell almost completely. You come around to the closet and you get a whole bunch of junk. So, But as soon as you put the camera into this line here, it's immediately completely backed up. There's pipes totally full of water. And by this point here, we're pretty much over by the tank. And I've already located this once before, heading over that direction. I'm just going to try and pick it up, but it appears that the tank is full and not operational. We've actually had a fair amount of water being run in the house since I've been here, and I have never once heard that tank turn on. So as best I can tell, right now it's looking like the ejector system is not functioning, and either needs to be fixed or replaced or something like that. But I'm going to go locate here. I just wanted to show this here so I kind of walk you through my thought process as to why I think it's the, the ejector system. I push the camera a little bit further here. The, the, the camera's heading into that closet area. I'm picking the camera head up just before there's a stack. You kind of have to crawl back into the closet there, but there is a stack that appears or, to be where this line is connecting into, and then from that point it flows forward to the tank. At least that, just looking at everything, that's how it appears to, to function. All right, I've located it multiple times here. Again, it looks like it. The line, if you're if you're down here looking at the closet from this clean out, the line kind of goes around the back of the the tank, and as best I can tell here, it looks like it ties into a three inch ABS uh, stack that's at the back of that closet, kind of behind the, where the tank is at. And then from there, my my assumption is that the, then it flows into the tank right next to it, and then is ejected out of there. Uh, I don't see how any 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 other way it would function. You know, there's always the potential that that could be a sump pump. But that certainly looks like a sewage ejector. To me, I've seen enough of them at this point. But that's definitely what it looks like. And considering the smell and everything, um, and that the main line down here exits about four feet up uh, from the basement floor, it appears it is the ejector system here that is the culprit behind the backup. But again, I mean, if we run. I think we've flushed multiple toilets since we've been here and run water. Every time that happens, you get a extreme smell that comes from that tank area and from nowhere else. I'm not really picking it up anywhere else in the house. There's some floor drains that are that are kind of letting water flow out of them, but for the most part, all that smell is coming from the ejector system. And when you look right at the top of it, there's kind of some broken up concrete right on top of that tank. If you look just underneath it, there's a bunch of water and junk. It looks like it's overflowing. Unfortunately, there's I don't see any alarm system down here. It might be hidden, uh, but my guess is that the I've looked at all the fuse panels. I don't see any obvious breakers that have been kicked over, like it's shorted out or something like that. Um, pumps have a lifespan, and my guess is the pump burned out. And I don't think there's there might not be an alarm system to warn you of it. But right now, that's what it's looking like. The tank or the uh, ejector system needs to be serviced and possibly replaced in order to get this thing functioning again.